what I want to do for this railing here, if I pull this back up, I want this railing to be a um, a metal rate, a perforated metal railing. Um, and so what I want to do is be able to have the reflectivity of metal, but I also want to be able to, to see through the perforations um, enough to see the wall yeah. behind. So to create a perforated material, we need to go into um, the asset editor. We'll create a new generic material. We'll call it perf metal. So at first we're going to treat it like any other metal, right? We'll just decide what color the metal is going to be. So for this, I think I want it to be sort of almost like an aluminum, right? So it's kind of just a light gray. Um, but I'm going to add some, a lot of reflectivity because it's metal, and I'll keep the glossiness at like 0.85 because it's pretty reflective. Um, I'm actually going to even up the reflectivity more of the IOR. So I click on this IOR, which is set at 1.6. It's the default. That default works for most any material. Once you start to get to like metals and like plastics, like shiny plastics and glass is only when you start to really mess with this or like chrome and like gold and bronze and those kind of things. Once you start to get into those type of metals, that's when you start this IOR starts to kick in, and this is sort of just high, like really amping up that reflectivity. So I'm just going to go up to two. So it's actually not that much, but for comparison, if we go to our glass material, that's at 20. So that's where I'm going for like the most crisp. Like our glossiness is at one, so there's no fuzziness in the reflection, and that, and the reflectivity is set to 20. So it's, it's sort of yeah. as high as I'll go without worrying about it slowing down my rendering too much. Um, everything else we've done, if you look at that reflectivity, it's at 1.6 um, with the concrete and the wood. So if I go back to the perf metal, I'm just bumping it up a little bit. Well, maybe we'll go to three just so it's about double what it used to be so you can start to see the difference. Um, and you can see it on here, right? It's starting to really give that sort of uh, aluminum reflective reflectivity there. Um, so that's what we're going to have for the material, but now we need to add the reflectivity or the sort of perforation part of it. So under opacity, I'm going to go to the drop down here. Right now it's just set to one, which is essentially just opaque. Um, if I go to the, the checkerboard and go to the bitmap, I'm going to go to this file called metal mesh 04 and click open, click OK. If I change this to a wall close up, so it's going to be a little hard to see in the preview, but you can see that you're starting to be able to see through this metal. Um, so that material I just opened, if we look at it in Photoshop, is basically a seamless texture of, of what I want my mesh to be. So it's just a proportion of um, black squares, which is what will be transparent, to um, the white grid, which is going to be opaque, and which will end up being reflected as the um, uh, the aluminum. So this is just an image I actually just found online. You can find any number of um, simple black and white mass is really what they're called what they are um, this is going to be used for our metal mesh so let's now apply that to our railing But when I look at it here, it's now I can actually see this. I won't be able to see through it because it's just showing me the, the, the mask, which is keeping the black as opaque. But when I see it here, now I can apply a box mapping and start to scale. 
So I think this is 12 by 12 by 12. Yeah. Go to our view and render and see how it's showing. So, if I zoom in here, so you can see the low res version, and you know what, maybe it's worth just in that tiny square, I'll bump up the resolution so we can get a better sense. So I'll go, I'll take this to high. So what we're seeing here now is exactly what we want, right? Um, maybe my color is a little bit too white, but it's also getting hit with direct sun, and it's really reflective, so it's really just catching that bright reflection. But it's essentially giving the feeling of a metal mesh uh, railing. So I can see the wood behind it. Um, I can get a sense that it's, you know, the sort of square, square scale profile. Again, this is still a little fuzzy in here. I'd have to increase the number of things to get this to really be crisp. But I don't necessarily need it to be crisp. I want it to look good from zoomed out at my actual view angle. And there's a getting a little bit of more effect on here, but um, it's it's actually like maybe here you can see it best, right? So you're starting to see that that feels like a semi-transparent um, metal mesh. Also, it's worth noting. See the the difference in the zinc texture here where on the right how fuzzy that is on the low setting versus on the left at high, that's, you know, the difference of what you get between those settings. Um, cool, so those are the main um, sort of realistic materials that I wanted to go through.